In this video, I'm going to be discussing a concept I never thought possible in multiple sclerosis. Today, we're going to be talking about the word remission. Don't turn away because that starts right now. And thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the term remission. It's a word that I never thought that I would possibly utter in the context of multiple sclerosis, and I am thrilled to be discussing with you today. Growing up with a family member with multiple sclerosis, my uncle Mark, in an era before treatment options, there was never ever a discussion with my family about remission. Heck, there was never a discussion about even trying to slow the disease down. There was simply the natural history of MS, which is a doctor's way of saying, if we don't do anything, what do we see happen? And what we saw was my uncle go from walking unassisted to using a cane, to using a walker, to using a wheelchair, to being locked in his bed. It's 2022 as I make this video, and there are 27 different FDA formulations of MS medicines available to slow this disease down. And some of the medicines, particularly the new ones, are really, really effective, not just at stopping attacks or stopping new spots on the MRI, but literally slowing down the accumulation of neurological disability. I have patients that have been taking some of these high efficacy medicines for years and they're having no discernible disease activity. They're consistently taking their medicine and they're not having attacks and they're not having new spots and they're not failing the litmus test of life. They're living their best life despite having this condition and they're taking a maintenance therapy to keep that a reality. Now, that is awesome. That's really a goal in MS to make things boring, but that's not remission. So let's talk a little bit about this word. The term remission, at least the definition that I looked up in the Webster's Dictionary, the oncologic definition, in other words, the definition applied in the setting of cancer, is as follows. Five years of no discernible disease activity in the absence of treatment. So in the context of cancer, the idea would be an individual, God forbid, has cancer. We give them chemo and, and we remove the cancer and now they've gone out five years and they've had no recurrence of cancer, so they're in remission. Now the definition stipulates that it's not a cure and that the condition could come back, and I think that's an important call out. And I think this is a definition that we can apply in the setting of certain situations in MS. If you're taking a highly effective medicine consistently and you're not having disease activity, that's awesome, but not remission. I'm talking specifically about a couple discontinuous therapies in MS. In the modern era, this would oftentimes either be someone who is treated with Limtrada, Alemtuzumab, or Mavenclad, Cladribine. These are therapies which induce the immune system to change its behavior. So I'll use Limtrada as an example. There are several patients that I gave Limtrada to back in 2015, 2016, or 2016, 2017. And if we use the second example, they last were treated in 2017, and then they went through 2018, 19, 20, 21, 2022, and I'm seeing them in clinic this year. They have not taken a therapy in five years, and they've had no disease activity. They've had no attacks, they've had no new spots on MRI, their exam is not changing, they're living their best life despite having MS, not having been treated in five years they are meeting the oncologic definition of remission. Is that a goal for every person with MS? No. Am I suggesting that every single person with MS needs to be on one of these discontinuous therapies so that they can shoot for remission? No. I'm simply telling you how freaking excited I am that I sit here and talk to you today and that there are some of my patients in clinic that are achieving the term remission. It's amazing to me, it, it fills my heart and it makes me feel hopeful for the future. Well, hold on a second, you say. Dr. B, the term is RRMS, relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. Doesn't RRMS already have the word remission embedded in it? It does, but that's a historical throwback and it's really not using remission the way that I think that we should be. Way back in the ancient days of yesteryear, 
before we knew a lot of the knowledge that we have now surrounding MS, we would look at a human being, and if they had an attack, we'd say that's a relapse. And then when they weren't having an attack, well, that was a period of clinical remission, which is false. It's actually not accurate. Because even though they weren't clinically manifesting an attack, if you look behind the scenes, you can see that their disease is in fact active. You can see new spots show up on the MRI. You can see brain volume that's getting smaller. And so in reality, the term relapsing remitting MS is not accurate. It's not appropriate. And in my clinic notes, I no longer refer to relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. If you look at one of my notes, it will read relapsing multiple sclerosis, which I think is a more accurate use of words. I reserve the term remission for the situations that I mentioned. When someone has not received the therapy for five years and has no discernible disease activity. So what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on dumping the remission out of relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis and moving forward calling it relapsing MS and reserving the term remission for the situation that I presented. My name is Aaron Boster and as always thank you for learning about MS with me. Thank you for tuning into this channel. If you like my content, please take a moment and click the like button for this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. That teaches the YouTube algorithm that you like the content and helps push it out so that more people impacted by MS can benefit. So until my next video or my next live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.